Welcome to Airborne. I'm Matt Jeffs. Today on our show, we've got Tommy Bledsoe. Welcome, Tommy. Good to be here, Matt. This great new studio here. I love it. It's a lot of fun. We're enjoying it. Yeah. Uh, having a laugh a minute here, as a matter of fact. You work with the St. John's County School District. What is your uh, work? Well, I wear several hats, yeah. actually, Matt. I, have, I am the um, Arts and Foreign Language Program Coordinator, which gives me an opportunity to work with all the teachers uh, throughout the county, K through 12, in the, our great art program and uh, also the foreign language. And I uh, have recently um, taken up the uh, role as the community education coordinator too, providing evening classes for um, various uh, in various fields throughout the county. And uh, so I, I wanted to talk a little bit about that today. That's what we'd like to talk about, but I can't help but notice that you've got this thing around your neck and this thing in your hand. Would you tell our <laughs> listeners and viewers about what you're holding? Well, uh, of course, around my neck, I have a, a rack with a harmonica in it, <laughs> which uh, keeps me from having to grow another arm, and that, <laughs> that's always handy. And this little instrument is a real interesting thing that I acquired a few years back when I had some friends or um, have visited with some friends out in California who are uh, Chicano musicians. Uh, they play this instrument, it's called a harana, and it's J-A-R-A-N-A. -A. It's from Veracruz and um, plays a type of music uh, very commonly um, called jarocho music. And so, um, you know, that's one thing that we're doing this year, there's this session in our community education is we have a conversational Spanish course Wonderful. being taught by uh, Ms. Uh, Naz Cayenne, who's a uh, teacher over at St. Augustine High School. And uh, she promises to uh, include some music in there. So I, th I thought maybe I'd just play a little song. Share with uh, us uh, this wonderful instrument. And I think music is a great way to, to learn languages, it being a, a language of its own. And so I'll just do a little song with the, um, the harmonica and the harana. Let's go. That song is De Colores, talks about all the colors, the beautiful colors of the world, and how, uh, uh, how, much, um, it, how, how colorful the world is. You get to blend art and foreign language as your job title, as you mentioned here, and you're right. Each is, uh, what a, music is a perfect tool for that, isn't it? Well, you know, I never didn't grow up around uh, native uh, Spanish speakers, so when I made friends with these musicians, mm -hmm. we started trading music, as mm -hmm. is always the case when mm -hmm. you meet new people that, that are musically inclined. So I found that it was a way for me to learn Spanish, vocabulary, pronunciation, and to be able to just kind of practice my uh, Spanish without uh, by having the, a song to do it. And, and it's really, I've kind of put together a, a lesson that our teachers can use to help kids access language through music. And it's it, a great way, no matter what the language is. It sounds like a fun, enjoyable way to learn a foreign language. Mm -hmm. It really does. Now, these community education courses that you're uh, rolling out, now this isn't the first set of them. You, you've just completed a, se a, a session, didn't you? Right. We had, uh, we had 10 courses that, that ran during the fall. Uh, at five different locations. Mm -hmm. We've added another location this time. We're doing courses out at Mill Creek. Um, and there we're having Cable Smith. You know Cable? Sure. He's a great artist. Besides being uh, you know, in the Ancient City Slickers, the uh, band plays banjo, mm -hmm. um, he's also an incredible uh, visual artist. And he's teaching fundamentals of drawing and painting out wow. there. He taught it last 
session at Cunningham Creek, mm -hmm. and we're moving him down to Mill Creek to get uh, some art out there. We're also having a computer for new users, people who just don't, and I had a couple people sign up today, people who are just totally uncomfortable, you know, they're going to start from ground zero and just, you know, learn the computer from the ground up. That is perfect. And uh, you also have courses at R.B. Hunt Elementary as well. What's going RB on Hunt. over there? Uh, we have, um, over at R.B. Hunt, we have um, a business course, small business, making your small business uh, profitable. Uh, Louis Zappa is teaching that. Mm -hmm. We have two computer courses over there. They're one-hour courses. Um, one is for learning Excel. If people, you know, kind of want to learn a little bit more about that uh, Microsoft Excel program and how to, you know, do spreadsheets and uh, get your way around that, uh, we're doing that. And we're also doing... Um, uh, it's a publisher of desktop publishing. Yeah, being able to turn out your own newsletter, mm -hmm. your own brochures, mm -hmm. your own everything, huh? To right. promote your business, so to speak. So a lot of these, it sounds like, help, will help people in this economy. Maybe they finally have this opportunity to get uh, a business off the of ground, uh, mm -hmm. a dream they've always had. This can help them facilitate that. Right. Isn't that right? And we're also doing a chain mail jewelry over there. This is the first time we're offering that. Um, Jan McIntyre, who uh, who I actually work with at the school district, she makes incredible jewelry just with the real, you know, uh, just thousands of little rings, little silver rings, mm -hmm. and it makes beautiful jewelry. So she's going to be offering a course there. At Mill Creek, I think I heard something about uh, landscape design. Landscape design. We, that's a new course for us, too. It's going to be Florida-friendly landscape design, um, using plants that are low-maintenance, mm -hmm. low-cost, and ecologically um, supportable, sustainable. That I could see being applicable for folks who maybe uh, they're going to tee up a house to sell and they want to make that place present well in, in real estate. That might I can see applications to these uh, courses that you're describing from many different angles. I think it'll bring, bring people together who have all kinds of motives for doing so, don't you think? Well, I think we're, we're seeing that there's a market for those the kind of things that people... Uh, you know, they want to learn new things or just kind of brush up some, on some of the things that they maybe have had an interest in in the past, and uh, it will translate into, uh, you know, improving their lives. Quality of life, I think, is what we're looking at here. Terrific. What about, uh, oh, let's, let me think, bluegrass. Uh, is anybody <laughs> well, doing anything with bluegrass? Actually, I've been wanting to do this for a while, so I'm going to be doing a, a bluegrass slash string band class. People that just maybe learn a little bit of, of music and they want to get together with other people and play, you know, mm -hmm. with different instruments. Mm -hmm. You know, we've done that, you know, you've been out my house at several big times jams, for the big jam jams. session. Yeah. And there's nothing like just getting together and just sort of figuring out what can happen when people get together. Mm -hmm. And you have a little bit of leadership, you know, somebody that has, uh, you know, the ability to kind of tie these things together. And that's going to be my role to uh, kind of make... Um, make a, a cake out of all these different ingredients. You know? Well, I remember you were instrumental in getting that sort of thing kicked off at the Old City Farmer's Market, and it became something every Saturday people show up, uh, and I don't want to say the word haphazardly, but they show up and wind up creating music together. That's true. And, yeah. and you know, we, we all have mentioned that those courses, uh, the uh, courses usually, those one-hour courses run anywhere from $45 to $60, depending on the, the length of time they run. They're usually... Uh, six week or nine week courses. Mm -hmm. uh, the two hour courses uh, run from about eighty dollars up to one hundred and twenty six dollars, depending on how long they go. Mm -hmm. and, and some of them are a little bit uh, two two hours or two and a half hours. Some of the artists want to have a little longer so they can do their projects. Right, and uh, also aerobics, body sculpting. Right. So you're, you're covering all kinds of uh, topics here. Aren't right, you? if you're if you're down, we have. Um, Courses at uh, Gamble Rogers Middle School. Mm -hmm. There's a computer course down there. Uh, Fullerwood Learning Center, which is downtown St. Augustine, right there by the old Parker Cadillac. Um, and uh, then we also have uh, courses up at Cunningham Creek, up in the northwestern part of the county. Mm -hmm. We had a couple of courses up there. We have American Sign Language, um, conversational, and also, um, let's see. Dog obedience. <laughs> Dog obedience. Dog obedience, that's at St. John's Technical High School. Wow. Yeah. For our viewers and our listeners who would like to learn more, what's the best way for them to find out about all These are a lot of classes now. How many, by the way, do you recall? Well, we have, right now we have 19 classes wow. ready to go. Mm -hmm. uh, and it kind of depends if, if some of the classes don't generate the kind of uh, enrollment that we need. We usually need four to five 
six people to run a class mm -hmm. for, because it needs to break even. Um, then we'll maybe wait and run it a little bit later. But we have 19 classes. And how do people sign up? Go to our website, www.sjc, as in St. John's County, sjccommunityed.com. And you'll find the courses, locations, description, fees, and you can also register there. You just, um, it, that's the only way you can register is by going to the website and uh, click on the um, checkout button and select your course. Well, Tommy, take us on out of here. Folks, you've been airborne, and uh, we'll be back. Grandes amores de muchos colores me 